Hey guys, welcome back to Vlogmas Day 13. Today I figured since I did a video showing you like creative Christmas cards and I use my Braille Writer, I figured I'd take this day to show you how the Braille Writer actually works. So I have um, the paper that you use for it. You can use any paper actually, but they say that this like thick paper works better because you know it's Braille. So you have to like, it punches holes into the paper. Okay, let me grab the big hunk of machine. Oh, goodness, guys. I don't have muscles. Okay, so this is the Braille Writer. You've seen it a few days ago when I did the Christmas cards video. Um, so, this is... It consists of six keys, which is what you use to write. And, um... Let me put this down for a second so I can talk about it before I actually show you it again because my arms are not that strong. Um, so it consists of six keys and you're probably wondering like, whoa, six keys? How do you write words with only six keys? Um, Braille, in Braille, a lot of what, a lot of things that a lot of different blind people do is some of us use contractions when we write. So, um, there's a whole bunch of stuff louis braille um had created this and so i will link information about that in the description um one of my decorations just fell out of my tree and i'm confused um anyways so this is the front of it this is the space bar in the middle and then i'm doing this completely backwards but this would be A right here. Let me try to get it closer. Um, this would be A right here. So, and then you add on with B, C, and then D would be this way. Or no, am I flipping? No, it would be the other way, sorry. Okay, so I'm gonna roll in some paper and you guys can kind of see the Braille Writer in action. Let me grab the paper and so when you open it up, there's these little things at the top that you um, you use to kind of like open the, so that you can put paper in. And then on the sides, there's these two little like wheel things that you use to roll in the paper. So this, when you open this little thing right here, it, um, you put the paper in. This thing that I'm touching right here is the cursor, I guess you would call it. Um, so we're going to get into that, but let me first put this in paper. Okay, let's see. It's so beautiful here today. Whew. Sunny, and it's nice and warm. I don't know, I just felt like saying that because I'm sitting by the window. Okay, so let me move this camera back, my phone back a little bit. Okay, so... Um, with this, what you do then, I really hope you guys can see this, um, what you would do is after you roll in the paper, so like I said, you, you, you would use this, um, these little, they're both, they're on both sides and you roll in the paper and then aside from just the letters you use, this button helps you to go to the next line. And then this one on this side is to go back. So, um, let's just write something out for now and see, and then I can kind of talk about it. So I will say, hold on, let me, I'll say, hi, my name is... Okay, so um, let's put this this way. So this right here, when you're writing in Braille, um, you know, like I mentioned, there are contractions, which might sound a bit confusing if I get into that now. So I'm just gonna leave information in the description for you guys. Um, and if you really are still like wondering what in the heck it is, then I can always do another video over. Um, so I just wrote hi my name is gabby and so i started with the capital letter which would be dot hold on i'm 
dot six. So it would be this one right here. Um, and then let's see. Hold on. There's like a table right in front of me, but like the tripod is. I don't know if it's gonna take, it's gonna see what's on the thing. So, okay, so then I just wrote out the letters. So like I was saying, um, the letters, you kind of just continue to add on from the letter A. So if A is this one that I showed you guys at the beginning, um, I'll try to see if I could get like a chart I know they have like charts on on like Google and stuff where you could just like um, see the layout of it. So I'll see if I could find one and I'll pop it up on the screen for the side of people. So um, this is, like I said, you add on from A. So if, if this is A right here, then you would just add on. So it'd be B, C, I don't know how I'm doing this like this. D. Ah, okay. So I f I feel like you guys kind of understand it. And um, this thing in the middle, they call it the carriage, I believe. Yeah, the carriage. I haven't used one of these in years, so I'm sorry. I forget a lot of the stuff. So this, when you get to the end of the page, you hear a bell. So it lets you know, like, okay, you can't type anymore. And then you can bring it back and you go to the next line and then in the front let me take the paper out because that might actually actually no let's just reel it back in reeling it in reeling it in in the front of the braille writer um there are these little like i don't know what you call these but they basically when you move these um like this one hold on that one is not moving for some reason um this one so when you move these, when you're typing, let's say, because sometimes the thing is with this is I have the the like the longer paper, but sometimes they they do have like ones that are a little bit shorter. So in case you are writing something out, um, what you do is it only brings you up to a specific point. So I would say it's about here. So yeah, it's like right here. So let me show you guys really quick. Oh no, that's not it. Okay, it's gotta go back a little bit. Mm, maybe I'm trying to make adjustments here. Okay, perfect. Okay, so with this, since it's in the middle now, usually it's on the side because with the wider paper you can just write whatever you need to write. But with this, what you would do is you bring it back here, you write, you write, and then whatever you whatever you're writing out, if you get to this point. It lets you know, like, okay, you're at the point where you need to stop writing. So I feel like this is, I don't know if this is confusing or not, but if it is, let me know. Um, right now, I'm going to put up a clip showing you how my Braille, write, my Braille note works. Let me put this thing down, though, and grab my Braille note. So I filmed a video showing you guys how my Braille note works. Um... There's more than just one type of like braille note. They they make multiple ones. I actually have like one of the last Apex braille notes that they made. So I'm gonna put a um, put up the video that I did where I filmed that. I had put it on my Instagram, but I figured, hey, let's put it here too. So thank you guys for watching. If you have questions, please let me know. Um, I will, like I said, put up a chart, which by now you should have probably been able to see. If not, I'll put it up again here at the, the end. And uh, make sure to check out the rest of my Vlogmas playlist because I've been having a blast filming these videos for you guys. All right, thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Today I want to talk to you about how Braille works and how I use my Braille note. So I can type on here and I can read. I usually depend on this for schoolwork for homework to write notes and this is where i keep all of my content and ideas that i want to put out on youtube for you so i'm going to show you how i write on here so it's pretty simple um but aside from writing i do also depend on reading my books on here
so a lot of the time I tell you guys you know I'm gonna read a book um, but this is one of the quickest ways and I'm a pretty fast reader so I'm gonna show you an example of how that works too if it would load but it's taking its precious time okay so it's a pretty easy machine to, to navigate and this is just one way how I'm able to work independently and get all of my, my work done. Thank you for watching.